Hey YouTube, uh, Mark O'Neill here with O'Neill Outdoors. Um, recently, I got online and I was looking and on a hunting forum, I think it was on Facebook or might have been on wherever, but it's on a hunting forum and it talked about the rifle caddy. I found this product a couple years ago. I'm really pleased with it. Um, I picked one up, it was either last year or the year before, but I wanted to talk a little bit about it. A couple of guys were talking shit and trash on it, but I really like it. This rides in my truck pretty right. It's storming right now where I'd be doing this out in the truck and showing y'all how to, you know, do a quick install and whatnot on it. But it's really easy. It's a great product. It goes on your center compartment or your center console. If there's a, a, a latch or a lid that it clears or closes on top of this, there's two buckle and clasp straps that that's all it is wraps around you cinch it or you clasp it together pull on it tighten it up um, the bottom does have uh, little sticky pads to where it doesn't maneuver off or you, you can hit bumps and whatnot and it doesn't shift left or right there's two side compartments that you can set your rifle or anything else on to or um, you just fill it with the other shit. And then I can set my rifle right in it. And it fits very, very nice. Both directions, of course, so long as you have room up front. And I'm driving in my truck. The front where the barrel and muzzle are, it's too long to go this direction. So usually nine times out of 10, it's facing the back, unless it's you know something short or small, or we have this in the back seat. Then I turn it to the side and you can lay two into where your, your back seats, if you have anything that folds down, you can set this in it, and then your muzzles are going to the left and right. Waterproof fire starters, some waterproof matches, a clean lens for binoculars, a couple pairs. Um, I usually hunt with the chest rig on, and rather than stop and get those out and this and that, I don't always have that, so a crappy old pair of binoculars, so if they get stolen, it's not, you know, $1,500 Rorovsky's leaving, it's like $70 Bushnell or something. Um, sunglasses, 550 cord, some cleaning brushes, another cleaning lens, um, flashlight. Here, that down, move that down a little bit for you. Um, just some random junk some more stuff for binoculars batteries uh small pelican case with a crush ice pack in it um heating utensils just to spare one of those laying around more batteries keys uh and then an, an extra knife just setting it in there and then uh so that it doesn't scratch your rifle case or your rifle stock they come with these little pieces of rubber that you can just open up, secure them to the side, and your stock won't get scratched up. They come with four of them, a minute to install and a minute to take out. The only downside to it is you don't have any covers for it. And it, not so much that it doesn't have covers, but if you're driving along and you're like, oh, I need to get something in my glove or center console, and you go and you pick that arm up, all this stuff is going to spill out. But if you just click down and bring it up even just halfway, you can get into your center console and still lower it again. Snacks, your cell phone, or any of that other stuff that you have in your uh, cup holders, they can stay in those cup holders. I mean, I got like other random shit and bottles of water and a coffee mug. This stuff would be taking that, that, that extra room up. Otherwise, this is just great, so. All right, well, I just got into the truck. I was gonna show y'all the ease of the install for the rifle caddy. Um, got all my gear in here and whatnot, but um, of course, this will open up all the way. Um, don't open it up all the way whenever it's in here, but I don't like to have to unload this shit 10 times back and forth, back and forth, and getting all the other shit, so I don't.
It's not difficult, it's not hard, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but it's not bad. I just feed those two through there. And on this side, front or back first, it doesn't matter. Um, whichever you would prefer. And I do go ahead and make sure that everything distance-wise will open up around to where if I want to have it, uh, let me just tighten up the, the edges and tuck in. That's it. All right, well, I ran inside and I grabbed a couple of rifles. One's a muzzle loader, and then the other one's uh, my standard elk rifle, because nine times out of 10, that's what I use this setup for. When it's I'm really playing. easy. Just uh, come back here, open up the back, grab your backpack, put it on, and then just grab your rifle and go. Um, and then it just easily sets right in. Same on that side. If someone says, hey, hand me my rifle, it's that simple. Hand them the rifle. If not, you just load it up, set it right there. And my, my binos and some other little like shit, like my 550 cord will be in here. And my rifle just sits here, no big deal. If you turn it the other way, it's not as long, but on some other vehicles and trucks, you wouldn't have that issue up in this area. Um, we don't have that here, or that, that issue we don't have right now. So I always just point them to the back.